Hey guys, welcome to Inferno Friday. Uh, this week, me and Dreadnought were playing a little bit with our friend Grim, who's a demon hunter. Uh, he's a little bit less geared than us, so we're playing on Act 1. So take it easy on him when he dies a few times. He's pretty squishy for Inferno. He's very squishy. He has some funny deaths in here as well. Uh, Grim might be doing some demon hunter videos for Inferno Friday later on, uh, but right now he's just playing with us. And a lot of you guys have said in some of our comments that you would like to play with us as well. And so we're going to try to start doing that more often. We might do it every Saturday. But either way, if you'd like to play with us, let us know in the comments. And then hopefully once a week we'll pick someone and we'll do a video together. Um, so right now, it's not really worth grinding Act 1 if you have the gear to grind Act 2, 3, or 4. But it looks like it might be worth it in the near future because Blizzard's making some pretty big changes. Patch 1.0.3 is coming out later this month, this month being June. And there are going to be some major changes. None of them are concrete, but they're pretty solid on a few of those changes. And one of those is going to be item level drops in Act 1 and 2 Inferno. Right now, there's different tiers of items in Acts 1, 2, 3, and 4, but that's going to change in this upcoming patch. There's going to be drop a uh, small drop rate for some of the best gear in the game in Act 1 and 2 uh, instead of just 3 and 4. So you're going to have to grind a little bit longer to find the best gear, but you can actually find the best gear in the game from Acts 1 and 2 after the next patch. Yeah, so if you, for example, can run Act, or Act 1 twice as fast as you can run Act 2, there's a good chance that it makes more sense for you to run Act 1 and get your gear that way. There will be about a 2% drop rate for the best gear, the item level 63 gear in Act 1, and an 8% in Act 3 and 4. So if you're doing Act 1 four times as fast as you're doing Act 3 and 4, it's going to be worth just doing one, plus you're going to be getting extra gold. Plus, it looks like they're going to uh, make item level 60 repairs go up a lot more so they're, just, they're discouraging deaths so it's going to be less worth it to grind areas that are are too difficult and they're thinking about increasing respawn time because uh, Blizzard did not intend for players to chain die and chain res each other as much as is happening right now in Diablo. Yeah one of the things that you said that was kind of weird to me still is the idea that Act 3 and 4 should be dropping about the same loot is that right? Yeah, Act 3 and 4 are pretty much dropping the same loot, and even more so after the next patch. Uh, and so if you're getting to Act 3 now, don't be in such a hurry to get to Act 4, because a lot of the best gear in the game is dropping right now, and it definitely will be after this next patch. Yeah, so um, like I said before, it looks like the chance for the best gear to drop doubles when you go from Act 1 to Act 2, and then again when you go to Act 3, and stays at that 8% um, through Act 4 as well. If you've been stacking Nephilim and getting frustrated with it, there's some updates on how the Nephilim's going to work. Um, if you don't know, and it took us longer than it should have to realize that bosses drop two wares automatically, at least, if you have a five Nephilim stack. So if you got up to 100% magic bind and you tried to do boss grinds without Nephilim run and you were getting crappy drops, that was why. There was a hidden um, tooltip per se that Nephilim, uh, full stack of Nephilim will make it automatic that elite or bosses will drop at least two rares. But that will be possibly nerfed in the next patch. It might go down to one. Yeah, it would be really nice if they showed that in the tooltip. Me and Dreadnought were doing some what, GOM and maybe it's GOM. I don't know how you pronounce that. Yeah, GOM and uh, Asmodon runs without Nephilim. Instead, we just stacked a lot of magic find and we were upset at the drop rate. But that's because Nephilim does a little more than it actually says. Yeah, so you are guaranteed two yellows if you have five stacks on a boss, which really m makes it so it only makes sense to do bosses when you have five stacks, it seems. Yeah, it's as long as you're in an area that you can take out elites uh, without dying on like every third one, then you might as well get that five Nephilim before you do boss runs. Yeah, and I don't know if this is their intention, but it seems from the patch changes that... Blizzard kind of wanted to make it so that if you can't kill the champion elite packs, you shouldn't be playing on that act yet. That, yeah, Blizzard really wants to push for these elites. A lot of people are resisting it, especially the Diablo 2 crowd who's used to the three-minute bail runs. But Blizzard's going to keep pushing for this. They want it to be a game where you keep playing all the content, not just grinding one boss. And whether you agree with that or not, that Blizzard's going to keep pushing for that. 
Yeah, so I kind of like that. I kind of like the idea that you can be rolling through an act kind of like we are here and still get the best gear. I mean, obviously, when we were doing this, this is before the changes, so this was more just us playing with our friend for fun. Serious players are going to do whatever it is that gets them the best drops, whether it's extremely boring or extremely fun. So it's nice when Blizzard tries to create mechanics for the best gear to drop through doing fun mechanics and fun runs. Yeah, there's a pretty funny part coming up here. A bunch of freeze orbs pop around me and Grim, and then you can watch Grim's body go and flying off the bridge right there. That's hey. pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I also didn't do a very good job of avoiding, avoiding those freeze orbs. That was a pretty big freeze orb chain there. That's... Yeah, me and Dreadnought have uh, way more defense than we need right here, so you can say you can tell we can take a lot of hits, but Grim can only take a couple. We've been doing some Act 2 and 3 content. We have a lot more fun in Act 1, and we're only making a little bit more money doing Act 2 from the drops, maybe not even more. So we've been doing a lot of Act 1 grinds, especially with all the news coming up with the next uh, nerfs that are coming up to Acts 2, 3, and 4. Uh, Blizzard's decided that the Act 1 Inferno difficulty is right around where it needs to be at, but it's too big of a jump from Act 1 to 2, and so there's going to be nerfs on Acts 2, 3, and 4, so they're actually going to be a little bit more playable now. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to help a lot. Me and Grim, were, or I'm sorry, me and Dreadnought were actually thinking about doing a video this week testing out the popular strat of running through Act 4 Inferno just to grab the chests, but uh, we found out we die way too much and it wouldn't be a very exciting video. And it's going to be even less worth it when the repair prices go up. Yeah, it seems like with all these changes, the uh, chest runs of Act 4 Inferno aren't really going to be that popular. Um, just because you'll be able to get the best gear from the other acts, so you might as well get the five Nephilim stacks and get those two guaranteed rares off of each boss kill. If you were really disappointed about the crafters in Diablo 3 and uh, how much it costs to craft gems and, and the blacksmithing gear, then there's good news for you. There's going to be a decrease in the price of crafting. Blizzard realized that it was just way overpriced to craft most things, and so people just opted to go to the auction house instead of using their crafters at all, which a lot of times is the better choice. So there will be only two gems in a lot of cases to upgrade to the next tier of gem instead of three, and a lot of cost reductions on the crafters. Yeah, this is just, I think, a needed change. I think a lot of players realized it, most of the time it just wasn't worth crafting things. Right. I mean, we leveled up our jeweler and blacksmith, uh, respectively, thinking that we'd be able to get a head start on some of the great gear, but it just hasn't been worth the cost of making the gear. Uh, to the Barbarian fans, real quick, you'll notice that I'm attack, uh, stacking attack speed, which I've been doing for a while, and I've been stacking that with life per hit, um, but I felt that it was overpowered, but so did Blizzard, because there's an attack speed nerf incoming. They, they haven't explained exactly how it's going to work. They don't know if they're going to actually reduce the attack speed on all the items or make it uh, a diminishing return value. Either way, Blizzard already decided that attack speed is a, a little bit uh, too powerful for uh, what it costs as a stat, and so it's going to be reduced. So don't stock up on all of your attack uh, speed gear just yet. Probably wait until the next expansion, or the next patch, sorry. Yeah, and to you Wizard fans, you probably notice I'm rolling with a really offensive skill build. This is very different from what I would play with in Act 3 or even Act 2. Um, but our main goal was just to roll through this as quick as possible. We weren't really worried about dying too much. So um, a shock orb or shock pulse with lightning orb, I can't remember what the rune's called right now. It seems to be one of the two actually used signature spells, that and magic missile. Uh, and it works great on these AoE pulls. I don't do that great of single target damage, but it doesn't really matter that much when you're rolling through Act 1. Also, if you've watched our videos, you probably noticed that we do mostly solo play, and that's because of the damage increase that is an Inferno, and it's extremely frustrating as a melee to take on that extra damage uh, in Inferno for multiplayer play because it's so hard to stand next to things once you get into Acts 2 through 4. And talking about not being able to stand next to things, right here I get hit with a waterfall of mortars which murder me horribly. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. If only you could zoom out 20%, that would have been avoidable, but that's not, yeah, and that's that's, not an option yet. That's another reason why you should always keep moving when you're fighting guys with mortars. Don't be a noob like me and stand <laughs> still for more than a couple seconds, because that's bound to happen. 
We are practicing more of our group stress though because for all of you group players there's good news in the 1.0.3 patch and that is the attack dam or the damage increase that enemies do in Inferno is being completely eliminated apparently from what the, the Blizzard site says right now. So the um, Blizzard realized that most people are playing by themselves because it's so hard to play in a group in Inferno and they are responding to that which they're usually very good at doing and so there's not going to be a damage increase after the next patch. Yeah, in theory it seems that uh, in Inferno would be easier with the groups even without that debuff, but the biggest problem seems that things that wouldn't one-shot you otherwise uh, start to one-shot you once you get in a group. And if you invest a lot in your followers, the followers can actually be pretty useful, so you're losing quite a bit from going from solo to group. Unless you're like me and always forget to use your follower <laughs> when you're playing by yourself. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited about that. It seems like, I think you had said that they want it to be pretty even, but they're going to err on the side of making group play more worth it. Yeah, Blizzard doesn't want to discourage group play, which they are doing right now, and so they're they're going to try and balance it, but they, they said if they err, it's going to be on the side of the multiplayer, so that multiplayers have a, a more fun experience. So yeah, we've been doing more group play recently, I think mostly just to get ready for when it's worth it. Um, I don't know if there's any word yet on when the patch is coming out. Hopefully it comes out soon. Cause I'm it, yeah, the only news right now is uh, late June, but as with everything in Blizzard, that's subject to change. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. There is, there's one new thing we've been wanting to try on this channel, and so I think we're going to start it this week. We want to try some item giveaways. Uh, you guys have been like the coolest subscribers in the world, and so we want to buy you guys some upgrades. Uh, pretty much how we were thinking this would work is you guys leave comments like you always do. We'll randomly pick one of those comments, and as long as the person who left it is a subscriber, then we will message them on YouTube and um, figure it out to get them an upgrade. We'll make sure that the item we get you is definitely an upgrade for your current gear set, and then we can just get in the game and, and give it to you. If you don't know what to talk about, uh, one comment that you can leave is which class you think is OP right now compared to the other four and why. And Blizzard has said that they're not going to be making any balance changes in this small right, patch. 1.0.3 1, 1 won't have any significant balance changes unless there's uh, glitches that have to do with tooltips and what the, act the ability actually does. But other than that, they're not going to try and rebalance. And uh, if people think that, you know, Monk or whoever's overpowered, they're not going to try and change that on this patch. That'll probably be 1.1. Uh, There'll be rebalancing. Yeah, so I, I actually, I don't think I could say at this point which class needs buffed or, or nerfed. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Until you have a level 60 uh, of each tune, uh, it's mostly a guess at what who's overpowered. Yeah, but if you guys have some feedback on that, that'd be a good topic of conversation. We'll also be posting our builds in the can't description. Can't believe we just missed that gold guy right there. Oh, <laughs> did we really? Did we you can't blame me because uh, on my screen you can't see it, but I just saw an Archon screen oh. gold guy sitting in the corner. So <laughs> I think that's when you rare yelled out that there was a uh, rare pack. I don't even know if I... Oh, he just died right there. Oh, I bet we skipped that. I we bet probably we don't totally missed that, that. Well, that was pretty funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I was saying, we're going to leave our builds in the description. So if you guys want to see what we're working with in here... You can look in the description. If you're getting really frustrated all the blues that we're leaving on the ground, uh, I normally pick those up when I think it's worth it, uh, but we wanted to do the speed run without having to go back to town, so we tried to time it out the, that we'd have about a, a full inventory by the time we got there, so we were focusing on picking up the rares instead of the, the magic items. Yeah, Dread does a little bit better job of that. I, I was mostly just picking up Teams of Secrets and Yellows. Oh, I guess we did. I guess we... I don't know. It looked like we uh, killed that maybe goblin, he but it looks like he got away. Yeah. Huh. That's weird. Maybe you guys saw something that we didn't, but it looks like we failed on that treasure goblin. But if you're getting stressed out by Inferno, which we all are, then there's good news coming. It's going to be a little bit easier in Acts 2 through 4. If you thought the game was already too easy and people were getting geared too fast, well, that's another issue, and hopefully some of that gets worked out as well, but... Yeah. Uh, some of you guys have been asking to see my gear, and I've responded saying my gear does change all the time. But I will, uh, at the end of this video, I will mouse over my gear so you guys can pause and look at it in case you do want to see exactly what we're wearing 
for the time being. Yeah, the, one of the things we don't want to happen is to show people our, our gear and then have them go out and look for that exact gear to try and put on because we're not wearing all the best gear, obviously, and we're not, a lot of our pieces we're not real proud of and we'd rather have something else right now. So we don't want to try and say, hey, this is the gear that you need. We focus more on stats, which stats you should be looking for instead of specific pieces of gear. Yeah, I think on each of our channels we have videos that discuss how we choose our gear, what stats we look for. Um, not that there are any correct stats to look for. It really depends on your skill build and your play style. But y you can see right now I'm, I'm not even avoiding the fire or his big hits right now. And as a barbarian, that's the luxury that you get when you stack enough resistances. When you have high enough resistances, then you don't even have to take the time to avoid some of those big attacks. And when you get to later difficulties, the attacks you can't avoid, you can actually take. So. Yeah. And you probably noticed that from each of these bosses, the Warden and the Butcher, we did each get at least two yellows, so there's that five stack of Nephilim in action. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful if you are one of these three classes, or if you're not, I mean, hopefully some of the news on the updates is helpful. Um, the subscriptions and the likes really help us out, so we thank everyone that's been throwing those our way. Yes, please, if you have not subscribed yet, do that now. We put out weekly strat videos. Uh, we usually do two or three videos a week. We're going to try to start doing more, but we will promise to always have a strat video out each week. And remember to comment to get put into the raffle to win, win a random piece. And we're not going to give you some crappy blue. It'll be a decent piece. Yeah, so. we will make sure it's an upgrade for you. It's going to be an awesome piece of gear. And if you'd like to play with us in one of the upcoming videos, leave that in the comments as well. Uh, we probably won't be able to play with everyone in one of the videos, but we will uh, go in the order to the best of our ability. So again, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in next week's video. See you later.